battery degradation is a worry to some people when it comes to electric vehicles. So in this video, we will compare two Teslas of similar age but very different mileage to give you an idea of what you can expect. In my previous video, I interviewed Nicholas Meyerhofer of the Austrian battery test company Avilu. And today, John Casey will join me as we discuss the results of testing our two Teslas. But first, I'd like to say a big thank you to Simon Acton, who made me aware of Avilu, kindly provided both of us with these test kits and put me in touch with Nicholas. Now let's look at the Teslas. Exhibit A is my own Tesla Model S 75. I took delivery of this car at the end of September 2017. My mileage is now a little over 39,000 kilometers. I usually charge to between 80, 90% once or twice a week at home. I work from home and walk to the shops, so my car is rarely used during the week. Most journeys would be two to two and a half hour return journeys during the weekend. I very rarely use fast charge points and my use of superchargers is limited mostly to the odd trip to Dublin. When I go to Dublin, I typically charge to between 90 and 95% in Balakala on the way up and typically between 70 and 85% on the way home. Battery degradation is a slow and gradual process, but even so I can't see I've noticed any battery degradation so far, perhaps because I've never actually charged 100% before doing this test. So it should be interesting to find out how my battery is doing. Exhibit B is John Casey's Tesla Model S75, which he took delivery of in January 2018. His mileage is around 200,000 kilometers. Have you noticed any battery degradation since you bought your car? Um, I'd say initially, Inga, my car was showing a greater range. I suspect that the battery degraded fairly quick after I first purchased it, but I didn't really notice it a huge amount, I'd say. And please tell us a little bit about your charging and driving habits. Well, I guess I do a lot of motorway driving. Um, so I also do a fair lot of driving in the four and a half years of owning the car. I've over 200,000 kilometers done. Um, Quite a lot of that would be long motorway journeys. Um, the rest could be all sorts, short journeys around town or whatever. Um, with respect to the long journeys, then I would probably start off with a high rate of charge, high state of charge, and possibly get down to very low states of charge on occasions. I suspect that over the course of the four and a half years of car ownership, I have gone down to single figures on perhaps 20, 30 occasions. So it's probably significant enough in terms of the cycling of the battery. Um, I've also obviously charged up to near 100% on maybe 20 occasions in total as well. Um, so I'm utilizing the range of the car um, through, and, and doing a lot of driving. Um, with respect to charging, I guess I have done probably a significant amount of AC charging in total. So I wouldn't consider that I've done particularly a huge amount of DC charging on the car, um, but I, it's hard to know really, I guess, you know. Is there anything you have to do differently now due to battery degradation compared to when your car was new in 2018? I would say absolutely not. Um, I would imagine that one of the reasons being is that I think I've got more efficient at getting the range out of the car. I'm more conscious of the regenerative braking. I'm more conscious of just range. And I don't believe, I think I, I'm actually more, I get more kilometers out of a watt hour of the car. Um, I've had I can I can tell you that that is the case because when I purchased the car I had a meter within the car um, telling me what my average watt hours were 
And over the first 100, 150,000 kilometers, I was averaging about 215 watt hours. I'm now averaging for the last 100,000 kilometers, I'm averaging about uh, 190 watt hours. So I've got more efficient at driving it. Therefore, my range has in real terms nearly improved compared to when I started off driving the car. Uh, like you, this was my first EV. So I had no experience of driving EV before that. And I would think it takes a little bit of time to get with driving an EV, you know, get with how, it, how you manage it and how you manage range. Now let's take a look at the test results. This is my certificate. After 39,000 kilometers in five years, I have lost 6%. And this is John's certificate, a degradation of 11%. John, were you surprised when you got your certificates? No, not really. As I said earlier, I think I would have expected a substantial amount of degradation after I first started driving the car. Um, they say, historically or anecdotally, I guess, that you do lose, um, you do suffer degradation on the first you know, few cycles of the car. So I would have expected to have lost maybe 5% on first first uh, ownership of the car, first couple of months. Um, losing another 6%, bringing me down to 89% battery. Uh, no, not surprised at all. I, I actually think it, you know, it was probably expected by me in terms of what I was experiencing in terms of the range. So you're quite happy with the result of the test then? Ah, uh, yes, I am. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy enough with the results of it, absolutely. I, I mean, it's... The car has over 200,000 kilometers on it. Uh, it's done a lot of cycling of the battery. I would have expected a significant amount of degradation. Um, I would have expected somewhere around 10, 11% degradation. So yeah, it probably is realistic uh, to expect that. Do you think you would be doing another battery test in the future? I think it will be worthwhile for me to do another battery test in the future if I was, uh, curious about it or if I was proposing to sell the car onwards and what about yourself then uh, Inga like I mean I, I know I'm not the interviewer but yes. you have what you say 6% degradation Six so are you happy with your results um, I, I think it's good enough I calculated for every 6,500 kilometers I have lost 1% Whereas you managed 18,000 kilometers for each percent that you lost. Right. And I, I guess, do you, are you aware of anyone else who's done a test in terms of it or anyone else in terms of the degradation? Do you think you're there with your peers in terms of degradation? And do you think I am? Is, is there anything surprising about either of our results? The only thing I can think of is I've probably driven less than the average person, and you have driven more than the average person. So I, I suspect uh, an average owner would probably lose, uh, have lost around seven, eight, nine percent uh, in the same period of time. Yeah, which I think people would be quite happy with if they buy an electric vehicle and they were told that after driving four and a half years, they'd lose seven, eight percent of their battery capacity. I think people will be quite happy. I wonder if any of our viewers have noticed any battery degradation. Please let us know in the comments. And the next time you're going on a holiday and are leaving your car at the airport, you may want to consider not charging your car before you park. It's better for your battery to charge when you come back. Thanks for watching and stay charged, but not at 100%.